Uh, okay, so we have this. This we're gonna cut, we're gonna salt it. We're gonna have to get some moisture out of it, so it's gonna sit in here for just a little bit while we prep some other stuff, okay? Have a uh, bag for your scraps. This is a game changer, dude. See? Big time game changer. You want a nice flat surface. There we go. Um, now, some people peel these. You can, uh, if you want to. Uh, you can do it, you know. We're gonna be frying in a wok. So, this is my wok. Anyway, uh, woks are wide at the top. And so when you fry shit, it doesn't splash around. And then we get like cutlets. Uh, you could do this thin, you could do a little thicker. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's the same thing as if you were gonna do chicken breasts. You just want nice, good, flat things. And then um, as you put these in, salt them a little bit, not a ton. Cause you want moisture to come out of these. You don't want to be like crazy salty or anything. Uh, and then you do them in layers and we'll press them. Kind of like tofu a little bit, just to get the extra water out. Cause when you're, when you're frying, um, the big battle is getting water out of it. So we're gonna offset these a little bit. Get the wide side salted. Not a ton again. Don't wanna get too much going on. We're gonna make an eggplant parm. Uh, I mean, we could make regular eggplant parm and sandwiches. Uh, I guess we could make both. I have the dish for it. There we go. That's pressing. That's the end of that. <laughs> uh, I also want to make roasted red peppers. Um, if you have questions about how I break stuff down, um, I mean, this is just how I do peppers. It's a little easier. Everyone kind of does, to be honest, peppers, bell peppers specifically, I feel like people do them different than I do. Um, but I find this pretty easy. Because usually you can keep the, you know, the core stays together and you just do that. Um, now you could use a paring knife if you wanted. But uh, you, know, you just cut the, cut the stuff out. You don't want the pithy shit, but like it's not that big a deal. Literally just put them on here. Uh, we want to we want these to broil uh, Until they're black on the top and charred and then we're gonna put them in here Let them steam for a second peel the skins off. You could do these in halves as well We we'll flour in this one because it's the messiest part. We'll do breadcrumbs in the last one Salt just a little bit just to have some flavor in it It's more than enough uh, usually I use panko, but I only had these. We need tons of stuff in here. You don't want to. You don't want to over season this stuff because it's it's not supposed to be like a salt bomb. You're supposed to be able to taste, you know, the eggplant, the mozzarella, the tomato. I guess we could make a marinara. This pepper's gotta be close. Oh yeah, close out right now. When you do any sort of broily stuff like this, when you roast red peppers, that, that would go a little bit longer, but it's whatever. They're not that like hard to touch or anything. Uh, but I'm gonna put them in here and they are going to steam. Uh, you would do this in Mexican cooking as well. Uh, if you did like roasted poblanos or something, but the steam helps those skins come off. It's fine, you can do a little bit. I'm not gonna make this real pretty or anything. That's all we got. You know what, I should've put my glove on for this. We'll do that. Uh, you just want to squeeze them. Break them up a little bit. Squoosh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Look rustic. Look rustic. Uh, if you don't want a chunky thing, you could mill this, but that's... That's stupid. It's a sandwich. Just didn't feel like washing my hands. Probably could have. A little bit more. Oh, almost dropped that. You know what you could do to cheat a little bit? Now, pepper is not always what everybody does. You can do a little MSG in here. Let's do it. Let's just see what happens. A little MSG. Just a touch. Total cheat move. Makes everything more savory. How are we doing? Cool. Actually, you know what? Do this real quick. Mix it up. Just get them a little bit happy. They're fragrant and delicious. That is just about happy enough already. We are almost there. See how it was hot? Holy shit. See how stuff was warm when we cooked it. Really? We fucking. How do we taste? Bright, a little tomatoey, obviously. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll add more salt, just a little bit, like that much. Okay, these are our red peppers, dude. Very delish. Should be able to just peel the skin off, yep. That's it. You've made roasted red peppers. So you char it to get the carbony flavor into stuff, kind of like grilling, and how grilling stuff makes them taste good. See that in there? But you don't want to eat the skins. You can eat the skins, obviously. You've probably had red peppers with skins on them before, but or bell peppers or whatever. Um, just not very pleasant mouthfeel? Yeah, when you do this, not ideal. A little bit of a thinness to them so I can put them on a sandwich. Oh yeah, this is gonna be tasty, dude. I'm just gonna do dry oregano, uh, or parsley rather, sorry. Oops, let's put oregano in there. Would have tasted Italian, no! Uh, normally I would have fresh Italian, or parsley for this. But it will do the job. It's a sandwich. A little bit more. Do some pep. See if it needs anything after it marinates for a little bit. And that's red peppers, guys. That's the whole thing. Uh, you could do red wine vinegar. I'll probably just do that on top of a sandwich. Um, yeah, bro. Come on. Holy shit, those are good. Uh, so, we have this. We gotta preheat the oil. We want this to get to 350, so this is gonna take a little bit. Uh, but we have our temper right here. You can do this in a deep fryer. This is definitely the way to go if you're making it for your family, uh, because it's just easier to deal with. Uh, we're gonna do dry. Dry hand, dry hand. Get a nice flower. Dredgington. There we go, easy. A little wet hand action. A little wet hand. And back into the dry hand. Dry hand is also like a little not true. <laughs> so if you've ever done wet hand, dry hand, you're like, ah, oh, I have a little bit of moisture on my, on my supposed dry hand. Wow. Well, get better egg coverage on the next one, but that's fine for now. Uh, that's all we're looking for. And then we just put it in. There you go. Easy. Easy. 
sure you get better egg coverage than last time, Jakey Poo. Better. Perfect. Oh, no. Almost. Almost. There we go. It's the vessel. It's the vessel I chose. It's the wrong one. Should have done a bigger one. It's okay. It's not that big a deal. Uh, and this is like the whole experience. Uh, you've, you've, now you know how. <laughs> it's not very hard. Not very hard stuff. Whoop. Look, see these are almost all already done. Keep this down a little bit. Uh, you can do a little bit of this action. Keep your browning even. But uh, yeah, this is essentially the whole situation. You'll be able to see it on the sides. See the color of it. Submerge it a little bit. I'm just gonna do two at a time for now. I think two is probably what's gonna go on the sandwich. You could do more if you're really fatty boombalatty situation, you know? Um, I'm not not in a hurry, but uh, if you were, you could just keep prepping this and just keep doing it in a line and really bust your ass, but I didn't do that. See, the first one had a little bit more hot oil. The second one is getting a little bit less hot. You can see the colors changing a little bit, and that's good. Perfect. These really don't take long. Yeah. There you go. And that's like that. Do that. Put some salt out. We're gonna hit it with just a little bit of salt at the end. Uh, and that is an eggplant parm. Uh, now, if you were gonna do this, uh, not in a sandwich, but in like the dish, you just arrange it uh, like these are your lasagna noodles and just do the same exact thing that you do with lasagna essentially. Uh, although I guess I wouldn't add the uh, white sauce, but you could. Uh, no one hates white sauce. 